Thank you very much, Wisconsin. Thank you. President Trump in central Wisconsin last week, campaigning for Governor Walker and U.S. Senate candidate Leah Vukmir. The president's visit made us wonder, if you're a candidate in a midterm election, is it always a good thing to have a president campaign on your behalf? It's not a lot of research on the subject, but clearly candidates think a presidential visit matters. They believe it fires up the base and boosts turnout. But what if the president is not particularly popular? In the 2006 midterm election cycle, President George W. Bush made few campaign appearances because his job approval ratings were so low. So there's clearly a point when a presidential visit is not seen as a good thing. But in the eyes of Wisconsin Republicans, Donald Trump hasn't crossed that line, even though he's underwater in most public opinion polls in the state. A Marquette Law School poll in early October found 47% of likely voters approved of Trump's job performance, 52% disapproved, and that was Trump's best number in months. Now go back to the last midterm election, 2014, when Democrat Mary Burke was running for governor and President Obama came to Wisconsin to campaign for her. Obama may have won the state in 2012, but a law school poll in early October of 2014 found his job approval at just 47 percent, 49 percent disapproved. Again, the thinking was that Obama would energize the base and boost turnout. But rallies featuring less than popular presidents also carry an element of risk, helping turn statewide elections into referendums on the nation's chief executive. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Gouche, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront.